Parasomi. Welcome to 21st day of this real yoga program. Now, today we'll start from Siddhikriya and then we'll go for meditation. The Siddhikriya is a very important part of uh, yogic uh, breathing, learning with breathing. It is always done in a relaxed way. Like when I, once I exhale, my stomach goes inside and I wait for another inhalation to come. Please listen to this carefully. I wait for another breath to come inside. I don't forcefully inhale. I let the breath come inside in a natural way and then I go for second one. Watch here. I close one nostril, exhale. I wait for breath to come inside. Then again. I wait for breath to come inside. Once it is settled down, then I go for third round. Once you understand this, then you can go. This uh, process may be uh, seemingly very simple to you, easy to you, but it had great effects on your nerve centers. There was a gentleman, a businessman, who went around the world to remove his breathlessness. His breath, he was following his breath. No doctor could cure. I worked out with him in, with this simple breathing way and he got cured. I myself was following problem with this this kind of problem because my relatives, my family members gave something on my foot to eat because of which it affected in you know, a toxin in my body and I could eradicate that problem with these and Paschimottanasana added with Mayurasana for which for Mayurasana I will uh, make exclusively other video so that anybody can understand. So these simple looking movements are very very important they affect in a very very higher and abundant way you cannot imagine how it works out very slowly but fantastically so again we do the same uh, meditation process of con one part which we call as concentration in our version of the mechanics you Put your mind on breath, calm the breath, feel the breath, feel your body and once you go into a state of counting breath, don't think anything else, feel how you've kept your palms down and what effects your palms are giving to your shoulders and your lower back. What is happening with your upper back, where your neck is, what is happening to your buttocks, where your knees are, what is happening to your ankles feel all those body parts. You can, just that awareness will take care of your body for better functioning. Calm the breath, do it for 30 grams. Just adjust your shoulders also. See the pressure you put on put on palms. With that, you can adjust your shoulders, take them slightly back if you want. If you don't feel like, then let it be like this. If you feel like, then you can pull your shoulders back, push your lower, your lumbar region forward. And be aware that where is your left buttock is, right buttock is, where are your knees, what's happening with your ankles. How much weight you are putting on your right ankle and how much on your left ankle. If you want to shift, you can slightly shift. Lift up your buttocks and shift. And you feel it.
try to understand the philosophy and concept of behind these posters. If you don't, then it becomes an exercise, then yoga is not exercise. There is no exertion involved in yoga. In 1995, I developed some movements, I used to call them Sushmayama, but it, when my students were there, deep inside the classes, I tried to tell them, initially I told you Vyama, but actually they are not Vyama, they are self-recharging movements. Because for the Vyayama, meaning in English exercise, there is no place on yoga. What you do for a long distance running, you can, we can do on simple lying down poster with the breathing slow effect. The same effect will happen in our glandular endocrinal system by practicing here. Thanks for today, Brother Swami.